Hello everyone, my name is Lovely Abbott and today I decided to create like this quick tutorial on how you can create a GIF, GIF email signature in Canva. So basically it would look like this. It's super cool, you can customize it and it's kind of like more personalized, have that personal uh, touch um, to put it on your email signature. So I know or may we may all know that we can create pretty email signatures in PNG format um, using Canva. So, but then um, I was scrolling through yesterday and I discovered that you can actually use GIF in your email signature. And what better way to create GIF than using Canva, right? It's super easy. You don't need a fancy uh, design or video editing software. It's all right there. So when I downloaded the GIF, it would look like this. So yeah, super cool. Um, so let's go ahead and jump right in. First is um, I did mine in 1024 by 1024 because I think that it's um, not that big, not too wide and not too um, small. And then um, number two is make sure that your GIF email, your email signature in GIF format would be seven seconds or less um, at max five um, or six seconds um, because uh, email service providers sometimes would put your email in spam if you have a too big of a file. Usually it's, 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 I, I can't really explain it, but if you don't want to go to spam, if you don't want your business emails, go to spam all the time, spam folders of your uh, recipients or your clients, uh, make sure that it's six um, seconds or less. I would say five, you'll be good to go because mine is five. So um, it will look like this. It's, it's super cool. And um, yeah, let's go jump right in. Now, um, so, Let's add another file. And I will just basically use uh, the same elements that I did. Um, sorry about that. Um, elements that I did right here. And just basically, I'm just gonna copy my photo to make this tutorial. Um, make this tutorial quicker for you guys. But basically what I did is I used a frame and took out the background of my photo and um, add my name. So could add my name right here, probably make it bigger and make it black from brand colors. And um, Make it a lot bigger so that it won't be too small on the GIF, on the, e on the actual email signature itself. And then I'd go ahead and um, this is my newest um, next level brand, next level you, because I'm actually rebranding and this is kind of like my newest tagline. So that's pretty much it. Um, and then the first thing, I mean, the next thing you're going to do is you have to animate it. So you can do any animations you want that are available to Canva. Um, so I think what I did with mine is pop. It's just that it's more, you know, um, I don't know, I just like it. Um, you can also use other design, other other animation effects like this. And after um, you have designed your email signature, you go ahead and download it as an MP4. Don't download as a GIF yet. You have to download as an MP4. And the next step is gonna, you're gonna figure out why, because our next step is we're going to upload it in the Jiffy app. So the Jiffy app right here, not the Jiffy app mobile app, but the Jiffy app uh, on your browser and you click on it. Um, if you guys don't have um, an account, it will 
actually uh, prompt you to create an account, which is for free. So you guys can create an account or, I mean, um, it's super easy. And then maybe in the future, you guys want to create more GIF that are more customized and personalized, you know? Um, so you upload your um, MP4. So that is where we're going to upload our MP4. So this is my new MP4, uh, the MP4 file from my new email signature. And then I want you guys to pay attention to this area right here that says public on and off. You have to turn it off so that it's only you that can exclusively use your GIF email signature. And then because if it's on, um, it will be searchable, especially if you would provide tags over here. Um, maybe if you are creating something like you want other people to use, then you can put it on public, but for email signatures and for if you want to be exclusive for you, you have to turn it off and then upload to Chiffy. And you just gotta wait for it to load it up. From there, you have your GIF. So, and then I want you guys to pay attention to this area right here, because what we're gonna do is, actually you can embed this. Um, you can copy the link and maybe use it in your email marketing platforms like Flowdesk or MailerLite, or if it's like email newsletters, or maybe on your website, you can also use this. You want to embed it as um, right here, or you can copy the link and embed it somewhere else. Um, what we're going to do with ours for email signature is to click on media right there. And then I want you guys to take a look how many media formats or sources that you can download. This is the biggest uh, file. So what we're going to do is to make sure that it's small enough. Um, we can do um, social or we can do small. So what I did with mine is social so that um, um it's not that you know clunky the kind of like the weight of the file it's not going to be that clunky for an email service service provider like gmail so once we have um, uploaded you can download your gif so it would look like that from there we are going to go to our email signature platform and i'm going to use my personal email right here I mean, we are going to use our email signature in our email um, service provider, which is on my side. It's Gmail or G Suite. So you go ahead to settings and see all settings and your email signature would be under the general um, settings, right? So you got to scroll down and from there you can create new signatures. So let's just say I would do create new. And then the next thing you're going to do is to insert an image. Although it's not an image image, but you can actually insert it, insert a tip. So this is what we have downloaded and we're just going to load it up on Gmail and it's right there. So the original size would be too big and large would still be too big. Um, so mine is on the medium. It, which I think is not too overpowering with your emails. You don't want to overpower, you know, your personal, your business emails with, you know, those are email signature itself. But so we're going to do medium. And then from there, you can add anything you like, like maybe you join our Facebook group or book a call with me. But I would, um, for mine, I would just go ahead and add my, social media pages so and then i have my links here ready i'm just gonna copy and paste it no we can't it should be just the word then we're going for my pinterest If you have more than three social media platforms and you can, you're free to you know, go ahead and um, add as many links as you want. But these are my top three. Um, 
I have to include the eye, of course, so that it doesn't look funky. All right, so um, maybe I'll do follow me and I'll probably bold it. I mean, it's up to your preference. And then I would add here, book a call and get started. So it's just basically, um, maybe this is your CTA, another CTA, another call to action. And we would want it to be maybe italic, italicized, whatever. And then um, I have here my um, scheduling uh, link so that they can, what am I do? what am I, doing here. All right, so they can book a call with me and there you go. They're all linked now. Now what I want you to do is to make sure that you don't leave anything that is not gonna wrap to your website or to, to your social media pages. So I want you to highlight that one. Just highlight the uploaded GIF and then go to link and I would want them that if they click on it, it will prompt them to go to, or it will link to my website. So when they click on it, it will lead them to the website, which is, you know, win-win for me. So they'll have a chance to, to visit my website and check me out, right? So from there, um, you just have to set right here for new emails, use the new signature for reply, use the new signature, and then from there, you can save the changes. From there, you can try out if it's already popping out every time that you write an email. Um, so yeah, um, there you go. Um, it's basically on our email uh, already and it's going to be our new email signature. So, um, let me know guys if you have any questions and if I was talking too fast. But yeah, um, I'm super happy that I'm able to share with you guys about this cool, um, another cool Canva trick that I, that, you know, I discovered. So let me know and um, see you on the next cool trick when using Canva.